Hello everyone, Jamin here from Import Data and welcome back to my channel. You guys may have noticed that I made a new intro to my channel, so if you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to put a model into production, also known as model deployment. This is part 4 of the K-pop analysis tutorial, so if you guys haven't checked out the previous tutorials yet, please go ahead and check them out first. Now, what's the model deployment? Model deployment is putting a machine learning model into an existing production environment to make practical business decisions using the data. And for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use Python Web API using Flask to deploy the model. So basically our end goal is to create a website which can give you the prediction of the number of hours you listen to K-pop using the input variables or input data. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first go to the K-pop repository on my GitHub page to download the model deployment folder. So go to GitHub. Repositories. K-pop analysis. And I'm going to provide the link to my GitHub page in the description box below. And go to the K-pop model deployment folder and you're gonna to wanna to download this whole folder. And to do, to do that, there's a website where you can download the entire folder, which is um, called gitzip. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah, so basically you just copy and paste this link to here to download it. All right, so show and folder, and it should be in your downloads. And you can name the folder however you want. I'm going to name mine as K-pop model, K -pop model deployment, which is already created in my local drive. So desktop, K-pop model deployment right here. Okay. And for this tutorial, we're going to use the Spider IDE. And if you haven't installed it yet, you can download it from the Anaconda website. So go to Anaconda. Download, uh, scroll down, there we go. And download the Python 3.7 version because this is the, this is the newest version. All right, so let's open the spider ID. All right, so now nav navigate to File Explorer and choose the folder you just downloaded. So mine is in, uh, mine is under Desktop, K-pop Model Deployment, and there we go. And we want to open the app.py and K-pop Model Building PY, and then go to Templates, and then open the Index HTML. All right, so let's go to the K-pop Model Building script. And from the last tutorial, we used dot uh, pd get dummies to convert categorical variables into dummy or indicator variables. So right here. And I realized that this created too many extra variables, which I thought it's not going to be very useful, very user friendly, right? Because we don't want to have users to input, uh, I think, 73 answers. Let's quickly check. I guess we don't need to use NumPy, so let's get rid of it. And run this cell and go to Variable Explorer. So if you see right here, so if you see right here, there are 73 columns. And yeah, that, that is too many input data. So so this for this particular tutorial, we're only going to use the uh, numeric values. So they are here, right here. So basically, we're going to use years listened, daily music video hour, years merchandise spent, age, and number of groups they like to predict the number of hours they listen to K-pop. And let me actually zoom in so that you guys can see better. All right. And we're going to initialize it as df underscore real. All right, let's quickly run this. Now this is the same um, script from the previous tutorial. I just kind of, uh, you know, removed some of the stuff that's not necessary for the tutorial. And run the cell. 
and also run the cell. And this is going to take hot minutes, so let me fast forward it. So notice that we are using the XGBoost model, because from the last tutorial, we saw that that was the best one. And we're going to deploy this particular model. Now, this portion of the code is to save a trained model. We're going to save this um, trained model to disk using Pickle. And it can be reloaded later on. And it can be used exactly as if we had trained it. All right, so let's run this cell. And this should create model pickle. Oh, we don't want this to be in here. Delete it. And once you run it, it should create the model.pkl file right here. Okay, so earlier I mentioned that we're going, to, we're going to use Flask to create a web API, right? So first we need these two things to create web API. The Python script, which will load the trained model and ask the user to input the input values on the website. And then it will predict, it will perform the prediction and return the, return the results, right? And the second one is the um, HTML templates, which is the format, basically the format of the website. And so this, is, this will allow the user to input their um, data, and then it will present the result. Basically, it's the um, front end part of this project. All right, so next we're going to go to app.py. So this will be the backbone of the web application. It will send out the web pages and get the data from the users to perform the predictions, right? So let's run the imports first, and then Use pickle to load in the pre-trained model, which we did right here. Let me zoom in again. And here's the main root. So here's all the variables that will be needed for our predictions. So basically, this is going to be the input data from the user. And here I create a data frame for the model. And Here's where I perform the prediction, right? And then, and this is going to give us the output, right? All right, let's run this portion. Name app is not defined. Did I not run something? Oh, yeah, I probably didn't run this. There we go. And next, we're going to go to index.html. Now, as I said earlier, this is the front end part of this project, and it will ask the users to input the values, and it will give us the output. And for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use a very basic style. I tried to play with the CSS. Um, if you guys notice, there's a static folder, and there's a CSS style.css style file, which will you know make the website look better, but I was trying to play with it, and I couldn't really get it to work, so we're just going to use a very, very basic style for this tutorial. And this is, this is exactly why I'm not a front-end developer, although I would love to pick it up. So if you know CSS or want to play with the styling, feel free to do so, since it's already in the folder. All right. So here's where we're going to ask the user to input their values. And here's a button to get the predictions. And this will show the result, OK? Now, we got to test to see if everything is working the way we want to, right? So first, let's go to the Anaconda prompt and change the directory to your working folder. So mine would be CD desktop and CD, CD um, kpop model deployment. And then we want to run the app.py. So Python app.py. And this might take a while. All right, so once, once it's successfully ran, you're going to get this URL. So copy and paste this to your web browser.
and input the values. So number of years you listen to K-pop, let's say five years. And number of hours you watch K-pop music video per day, um, let's say one hour. And how much money you spend on K-pop merch per year, um, let's say $60. Your age, I'm 24. And the number of groups you like, let's say two. And once you click the predict button, it's going to give us a prediction. And let's see if it works. And it says that my predicted daily K-pop listening hours is 3.0. So as you can see, this is not the most appealing website. But I just wanted to show you how to deploy a model for this tutorial. And you know, you can always play with CSS if you want to. And if you already know how to do it, then it's great. right? So as my website suggests, subscribe to my channel if you find this video useful. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys find this video useful, please hit the like button. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to document your project by creating your own portfolio website. So until then, bye.